Hello, my name is Gabe LaRouche, and I'll be presenting the forecast for this weekend. So just a little bit about me, just so you can have some trust in my forecast for this weekend as you plan your hiking trips. Uh, I'm a senior studying atmospheric science at Cornell University. My main research interests involve creating usable and impactful weather forecasting tools. Uh, so far, I've actually helped to develop the Northwest Atlantic Ocean Storminess Index alongside the Northeast Regional Climate Center right here in Ithaca. I'm also a big nature lover. I love nature. Uh, you might even see me out there on the trails this Sunday. And uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any further need to discuss the forecast. So to make a forecast, I always like to look at the current conditions just to get an idea of the current state of the atmosphere. We can see that if you were to look out the window right now, Friday afternoon, this is Friday um, at about 12 um, in the afternoon, you can see that you have some uh, high pressures, uh, high pressure system sitting off the mid-Atlantic and southern New England here. That's what's giving us those sunny skies. That's why we're seeing a little bit of a warming trend today as well. But we do see that uh, upstream here in the uh, Ohio River Valley and in the southeastern United States, we have some unsettled weather, some clouds and precipitation. That's all going to be impacting us tomorrow on Saturday. So let's take a look at how this forecast is going to evolve. So Friday afternoon, this is now. Um, we see that we do have some precipitation moving up the mid-Atlantic coast. We have a warm front that just passed to our north over Canada, uh, north of New York, and that is what helped us to warm up today. We're a bit warmer than we were yesterday, Thursday afternoon. Uh, now we are a little bit warmer. We're in the 40s. We can see that that precipitation is um, looming, and by Friday night, we will actually see some of that precipitation move into Pennsylvania and southern uh, New York. We can even see in some of the higher elevations, some of those blues and pinks, especially here in northeastern Pennsylvania, those are indicating some frozen precipitation. So it might actually be just cool enough. There might be just enough cool air in place aloft to give us a little bit of precipitation that is of the frozen type. But for the most part here in Ithaca um, on Saturday and into Saturday night, we will be experiencing liquid precipitation. So we'll be having rain steady at times Saturday morning, probably beginning uh, after 4 a.m. or by the time you wake up. And then the uh, lingering impacts of that will last until Saturday night. So Saturday, not looking like the best day to go on a hike. However, if you were to uh, wear your, you know, the proper gear, the rain boots, uh, the rain jacket, it will be above freezing and it will be liquid precipitation. So you may be able to get out there if you're in the right gear. On Sunday, we see the remnants of that uh, storm system that's impacting us on Saturday. We see that move offshore and we see high pressure start to build behind that system over New York. And that is going to give us some sunnier skies and also a bit of warmer air uh, for Sunday. So here's just the weekend outlook today at 2 p.m. At the time of me recording this video, the temperature is about 49 degrees Fahrenheit. We see some light. Winds moving in from the south is bringing some of that warm air, and we see the humidity is about 44%, so not too uh, humid. Uh, the rest of today, we're looking at a high pushing up from 49, maybe even into the low 50s. Tonight, the low temperature will be above freezing uh, in the mid to upper 30s. Uh, the wind will become a little bit stronger overnight and even shift a little bit southeast as that storm system does begin to encroach from the south. The sunny skies will give way to the increasing clouds overnight with a slight chance of rain possible after 4 a.m. On Saturday, we see high temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s um, with that steady rain in the morning giving way to showers and clouds in the early afternoon with some clearing uh, perhaps late in the day. Uh, the winds will be a bit strong as that low pressure system does move to our south and we will see southerly winds, but those winds will taper off and become calm overnight. Sunday, Sunday is the pick of the week. We're going to see temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s, sunny, uh, partly cloudy skies a bit warmer, as I've mentioned, and it is, in my opinion, the pick of the week for a visit to the Nature Center. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to reach out.